past year, over 16,000 individuals have used at least one of La Puente's services. Now, given that the population of the San Luis Valley is about 46,000, that's one out of every three people. We are the bridge from homelessness to home. La Puente Home Shelter is people's living room. It's their dining room. It's their social gathering place. It's a place where people make connections to find work, where people make connections to help each other with transportation because there is no transportation here in the valley. Um, it's a place where people connect. In the San Luis Valley, we have a lot of rural poverty. We don't have large metroplexes, big cities, say like Denver, Chicago. All these places still have aspects of poverty. There's homeless people everywhere, but it's a little different in big cities. They have more services, they get more funding. They're able to meet better needs and they can build bigger shelters, they can build more shelters. In our valley, we have La Puente and we serve an enormous region. We try to focus on providing a lot of nutritious foods for people, not just things that are uh, calorie dense, but also things that are you know, low in salt and sugar and with uh, whole grains. Uh, we do a good job of uh, bringing out a lot of produce. The idea of all of La Puente is see the need, meet the need, and we've operated on that. So um, after the shelter had been running for a while, they kind of noticed that a lot of the problems that people were facing it was just one-time crisis that led them to being homeless. So in response to that, La Puente created outreach services so that when you're in crisis, hopefully we'll be able to offer you the financial assistance you need one time to get you through so that you don't end up losing your home. It is maybe one of the most rewarding experiences to help keep someone in their home. PAL stands for Positive Activities Lead to Success. PALS originated with the Adelante program, which is the Family Transitional Housing Program for homeless families, a program to provide uh, educational support and positive activities, positive relationships for the children that were in the Adelante program. You know, each child has their own story, but the common thread uh, with all of our children is some degree or another of trauma. Adelante is a two-year transitional housing program, um, but it's so much more than that. We provide so many wraparound services for our clients, offering those services to our clients and really watching them grow. Adelante works with our families and our parents to really build that self-esteem and that, that goal-building mindset in order for parents to grow and, and reach their dreams and, and maintain their housing component of their lives and really build that self-confidence that, that we know is in there that sometimes families haven't felt in a very, very long time. Adelante was like the second piece of my puzzle that really gave me that backbone to just stand up and say, yes, I'm divorced. Yes, I'm a single mom with three kids. Yes, I moved down here on a leap of faith and I'm kind of lost, but they helped guide me and put in front of me pictures that I couldn't see as to where I was going. And since then, I've, I'm almost there. <laughs> The social enterprise is these three small businesses, Milagro's Coffee House and then the two Rainbow Zen thrift stores are um, able to make money and the money that they do make then gets distributed back to the needs of the direct services. The value that the enterprises brings to clients within the organization is provides an opportunity that they might find potential employment. Volunteers are important um, in the work I do because they are the ones on the front lines doing a lot of that work. So we rely on volunteers through the AmeriCo program, but also community volunteers and local volunteers, um, work groups and church groups and things like that to come in and actually do um, the work that is done here daily. And if you could imagine um, having a home with 50 plus people that you serve, um, 50 plus people plus one of their friends every single day, every, every meal of the day, the amount of cooking and cleaning and case management and work that has to be done to keep this facility running smoothly is tremendous. The work that's done here, is, there's no way it could possibly be done without volunteers and people in the community who are coming in to help us. We want to inspire our community to believe in the worthiness of everyone we serve. And in my heart, I know that if our community believes in that worthiness, they will respond with compassion and the resources to meet everyone's need with dignity.